Hi friends, in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up logging for an SFTP server in Windows, which was installed using OpenSSH. If you don't know how to set up an SFTP server or how to configure an SFTP server using OpenSSH in Windows and how to connect to SFTP server using WinSCP, I've already created a video and blog post on that and I will leave the link of that video and blog post in the description. So check out that blog post and video if you want to know how to configure SFTP in Windows using OpenSSH. I've also given the configuration options of setting password based authentication or private public key based authentication. So watch that video and blog post if you don't know about using SFTP server first. Alright, what I didn't cover in that video is how to set up logging for an SFTP server in Windows running OpenSSH. Logging SFTP server is important because in an enterprise environment, you might want to monitor the access of the SFTP server and what files are being copied, etc. So that's why logging is important for observability. And fortunately, logging is very easy in SFTP server. It's just two lines of configuration change. So let's dive in and see how to set up SFTP server logging in Windows. So basically, logging can be controlled using the sshd underscore config file, which is located at this location, C program data SSH folder. So we will modify sshd underscore config. But first, let's try to know the basics. There are two things you have to know to set up logging in Windows SFTP server. The first thing is the logging facility. So logging facility determines where the logs will be stored. So these are all the options of the logging facility. But I'm going to talk about only two options, which is the auth and local zero. So setting up the logging facility as auth will send the logs to windows event viewer which is basically the windows system logs and setting the logging facility to local zero will send the logs to a log file which is located at this location c program data ssh logs ssd dot log file so if you set the logging facility as local zero the logs will be sent to this file in a text form all right the next thing you need to know is the logging level so these are all the logging levels and this is the most critical logging level and this is the least critical logging level that means more logs will be generated as you go right side so that means if you set the logging level as debug3 all the logging levels about debug3 and debug3 will be logged but if you set the logging level as info all the logging levels above info will be logged and these logging levels will not be logged that means if a log is generated with a verbose tag then it will not be logged in the event viewer or text file so generally people use info as the logging level and this is the default logging level also that means all the logs above the level info and info so these logging levels will be locked all right we got to know about logging level and logging facility in sshd underscore config file but how to control it so let's try to open the sshd underscore config file so sshd underscore config file will be present at c program data ssh folder and the file can be seen here ssd underscore config so we have to open this file and edit this as you know, you can't open this with a normal notepad. You have to open the notepad as administrator. So let's try to do that. I'm going to search for notepad and expand and run it as an administrator. Now I'll just open a file which we require, which is the SSD underscore config. So I'm going to select all files and go to the folder location, C program data SSH, and then you can find SSD underscore config. And now I'm able to edit it in administrator mode. And here you can see the lines syslog facility and log level. By default, it will be commented something like this. So you uncomment these lines and then you can control the syslog facility and logging level. So let me keep the syslog facility as the default option, which is the auth, syslog facility auth and logging level info. So what this does is basically it will send the logs to the Windows event viewer. So I've just completed my configuration changes. That's all. Save it and close the SHD underscore config file. And now let's restart the OpenSSH server. So for that, I'm going to use the services.msc application. So I'm just going to write services. I got the services app and search for OpenSSH server. Right click it and restart the OpenSSH server. All right, my configuration changes may be taken effect. So let's try to verify that. Let's try to see if the logs are getting logged in. So let's try to open a WinSCP and try to connect to the SFTP server and check whether the logs are being generated. Let's try to create a new session and the hostname is localhost because I'm running in my own computer and I'm entering the username and since I'm using the private key authentication, I have to actually go to the advanced and click on authentication, select my private key and then click OK. If you want to know more about how to log in with WinSCP using private key, I've already done that in my previous video. So for now, I've entered my private key and I'm going to log in now. And successfully, I logged in into my SFTP server. And now I have to see these logs in the Windows event viewer because I have set the logging facility to auth, right? So let's go to the event viewer of Windows. 
and here you have to see the application and services logs and expand that search for open SSH and expand that and inside that you have to see the operational section and here the logs should be logged in and let's see the latest log you can see accepted the public key for the user and before that you can see one minute before the server was restarted so i'm seeing the log called server listening on localhost port 22 and all that means the logs are getting generated and logged into the windows event viewer i think this is a very good way to log sftp logs in a production scenario because it's being stored in the windows event viewer and you can use some agents to ship these logs to some kind of siem or some kind of syslog server or something like that so it's a very good place to store the logs and it has a very good user interface also all right we have covered how to send logs into the windows event viewer let's try to send logs into the text file located at c program data ssh logs ssd.log so for that you have to change the ssd underscore config file so let's go to the location there so it is c program data ssh and there you have to edit the ssd underscore config file so again let's try to open the notepad as an administrator and now open this file open and select all files and C program data SSH and select the SSD underscore config file. And now change the syslog facility to local zero instead of auth. And now the data should be going into the text file. So let's try to save this now and close the SSD underscore config after the changes. And let's try to restart the SSH server by just right clicking on the open SSH server service in the services.msc app. Right click and click restart. And now let's try to connect to the OpenSFTP server using WinSCP and see whether the logs are being sent to the text file. So let's try to create a new session and connect to the SFTP server. I am just selecting the private key now because I am using private key authentication here. So I'm clicking OK and then click login. I'm connected to my SFTP server and now I have to see these logs in my text file. So let's go to the text file location. The text file will be located at C program data SSH logs. So let's try to copy this location and go there. So this is C program data SSH logs and I've got a file called ssd.log. Let's try to open it with notepad. And here you can see a log where accepted public key for the user. And since I restarted it one minute back, it was like server listening on localhost port 22. So the logs are getting generated in the text file now. So that's it. Just by changing the logging facility, you can actually send logs to a text file. You don't have control over which text file the logs will be logged. The logs will be logged into this text file only. And one more thing is that there is no log file rotation. That means even if a million logs are generated and your log file becomes like 10 GB, the file will not be rotated. So it's not recommended to store SFTP logs in a text file. You can use this method for debugging purposes. But in the production scenario, I recommend using the Windows Event Viewer method because it's more stable and you can even ship logs to some kind of syslog or SIEM. So that's what I recommend. Send logs to Event Viewer instead of a text file. But if you want to debug, you can send to a text file. So that's it guys, that's how you set up logging for an SFTP server in Windows which is running OpenSSH server. You can see I have created a blog post on this topic. I have given the notes and the file locations so that you can easily copy paste and practice it in your own computer. I have also given the reference to the official documentation and in this official documentation they have very nicely told about how to do logging in SFTP server. So you can check it out for further reading. Please post your valuable feedback or ask any questions in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.